think about how hard we work on our projects mm -hmm. you know think about how how like for me to do this hard thing it's like no i can do that because i I've, think james would feel the exact same way at any given point he would love to do things that make him money he loves feeling so that I. productive yeah. he loves feeling um that he, what that what he's doing is actually giving something getting he's getting something back mm -hmm. like as soon as he does it basically like lemonade stand he would do that any day oh, yeah. but he hates the monotonous day-to-day -day chores that someday he's gonna make sure his kids do and he never has to touch again just like you <laughs> and he'll and he'll be like dad high five thanks for You're teaching such me such a great dad <laughs> such good work <laughs> if he heard that he'd be like oh <laughs> <laughs> and i keep telling him dude you're gonna appreciate this one day like when you're all the yeah, grown up because he's gonna learn gonna how not me. to do it <laughs> then he's gonna push it on that's everyone not else. why <laughs> i'm serious that is not why <laughs> i'm not like kids do the jobs because I don't want to do it, and now you're my slaves. That's but not wait, why. Wait, wait, is it? I think I've heard you say that word. No, word. <laughs> no, it's because I want them to learn the, the value. Bus. It's because I love them, and I want them to learn the value of hard work and how to work hard. Like, good we answer. All, we all have responsibilities as a member of this family, right? <laughs> so we have to film videos. Everybody yeah. participates. I have to make sure they get edited. I have to make sure they get uploaded. I do all the business, everything. Mm -hmm. Do you do that? Did the kids do that? No. No. Everybody has their responsibilities. Exactly. I agree with that. I agree with that. And I think that. that's fair. However, this is where we differ. <laughs> Are we having a fight in front of people? <laughs> Tell me where we differ. I'm curious. Well, I feel like, like too much is left up to them to figure out sometimes. Where, because you had to figure it out. What do you mean? Like figure out how to clean the yard, you know, like go um, clean the yard or go do the dishes. But we, we think we only have to teach the kids how to do something one time and they should remember it, but they don't. It takes like five times Trust or, me, or like 20 times okay. of telling them over and over and over and over. And I feel like that is where I come in and start teaching them still the same thing over and over again, where you have very little patience for that type of thing. Because you're like, I've already told you how to do this. <laughs> okay, I don't understand how we differ. So that's how I, I guess, I guess I think it's all right to go in and reteach and have them do the same thing over again. And I have patience for that. And I don't think you have patience for that. That's uh, where we differ. Well, if you're, what you say is, you call it reteaching what i i see you reteaching and i say you're just doing it for them because i know for a fact because i've seen them do it many 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 times successfully <laughs> that they know how to do this thing and you know because you did that to your mom kids, <laughs> and i did that to my mom <laughs> kids and i'm saying this from personal experience <laughs> i i've i did it myself very knowingly and i've seen my kids do it and i know they're smarter <laughs> than that they manipulate. That's like absolutely. That's they. It, it just comes naturally. I, and maybe it's not every kid. Maybe it's just they come. They got it from genetics from me. Because I, I would whine and I would complain and I would argue to my to death and I would wear down my mom until she gave in to whatever it was that I didn't want to do or or whatever it is I did want to do. Like I remember intentionally knowing if I say this enough, she'll give in to me.